before we get into that too, I just want to make a, a quick point here. The purpose of dating is to find a wife. And, you know, it sounds real simple, but especially in the culture that we live in today, I think there's a lot of instruction lacking and, and people just kind of are real flippant about marriage for one, because people treat marriage as just glorified girlfriends and boyfriends as evidenced by the fact that divorce is just so rampant that people don't treat marriage with the gravity and sobriety that they ought to treat it as, as you know, when you decide to say, I do or I will live with this person until death do us part for richer, for poor, you know, in, in, in poverty and in wealth and, you know, in good times and bad times and, and, and you know, all of these promises that you're making, like that is serious. Okay, this is an event that should take place once in your life and, and you know, God forbid you become widowed or something, you could happen again, but, but this is one of those events that's basically designed to be a, a one-time event in your life. It's designed to be, you do this once and there's no do-overs, there's no, oh wait, I made a mistake. It's, it's done. You're sealing something in, in that marriage and it's a beautiful thing, it's a great thing, but we need to treat it with importance and going all the way starting with the dating all the way through the marriage um it, it is it's a very um you know uh, sanctimonious thing it's 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 very um it, it ought to be elevated and respected in our marriage and it's and it's not these days so the purpose of dating isn't to find friends, isn't just to hang out. It's you're trying to find either a wife or a husband, right? I mean, if you're dating, you're interested in marrying somebody. So just understanding that, even before we get into scripture here, because you know that it's forever, you're going to want to know who it is that you're planning on marrying. And one of the best things you can do in dating is to communicate a lot and get to know the other person. And um, this is something I actually did do before my wife and I got married is um, talk a lot about your beliefs, your goals, where you want to be in life, what direction you want to take. You know, you, you don't you want to make sure before you get involved, if you want to have a lot of children, but then the person you're interested in is like, I don't really want to have children. That's not something you kick down the road and say, well, we'll just deal with that later. Okay, because that is something that's, that's, that's at a core that can cause a lot of problems and a lot of strife. Or, you know, we could start off with the most basic thing, you know, I'm saved and I'm going to heaven, but this person I'm interested in is not saved and, you know, well, we'll just deal with that later. No, no, that is, that is the number one thing that you're going to need to make sure is established. And that's actually what the Bible puts on as far as marriage goes. You know, you can marry whom you will only in the Lord. And God gives us freedom and choice to, to go out and, and find someone that, that, that you love, someone you're attracted to, you know, whatever. But just you're born again, make sure that they're born again. Make sure that they're saved because that goes to the, the a person's religion, a person's belief in God goes to the core of who a person is. And if you've got difference and variance there, that's not going to do any good for you. It's just going to cause problems. Um, so that's number one. Obviously, you're going to want to talk about other things. You know, if you're, if you're a man and, you're, and you, you, know, you believe that your wife should be at home and not working a job and raising the kids and you, you kind of have this, this understanding of, of how... Uh, a marriage should work. Talk about those things so that your wife isn't blindsided getting into something and being like, well, I had no idea that you wanted me to do this and this and this and this and this. So it's not just some big shock because that's, guess what? That's going to cause problems. And in something that you want to make sure works and make sure lasts and lasts forever and lasts until you die, you don't want to add any more problems up front because there will be enough problems <laughs> that come up on their own, okay? The most perfect marriage is everybody has problems. Everyone who's married, I see a lot of heads nodding and say, yep, this is true. 
And when you choose to live with someone and stay married, you know, it, it's natural. We're human beings. There will be problems and things that come up. There will be fights. But we don't want to add to that, especially when you're getting started, right?